Now I will illustrate the medulla oblongata from the dorsal point of view. Please visit my website flashbrainanatomy.com to check out my lessons and my software. Okay, so this over here, this brown structure is called the cerebellum or the small brain. This over here, what we can see a little bit is the medulla oblongata. This part up there is already a mesencephalon or midbrain. Now if we simply cut the cerebellum off, this is what we would be able to see. This is where we made a cut. We have cut the fibers that go and leave the cerebellum and go inside of the cerebellum. So we have the fibers going in and leaving the cerebellum and they go through these structures. And these structures are called peduncles. The middle peduncle, the inferior peduncle and the superior one. And the same on the other side. So we have the superior, inferior and the middle peduncle. Now let's start from the beginning. First I will illustrate the lower portion of the medulla oblongata. And after I photoshop it a little bit, this is how it looks like. This over here is the gracile fasciculus. Those are fibers inside of spinal cord. And they also are to be found in the medulla oblongata. Then over here we have the cuneate fasciculus, a bit more lateral from the gracile fasciculus. However, here we have the tuberculum 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have the tuberculum of the cuneate fasciculus here and here, because this was the cuneate fasciculus, and this is the tuberculum of the cuneate fasciculus. It's the nucleus inside. Then we had the tuberculum of the gracile fasciculus. This over here is the fasciculus and this is the tuberculum. Same on the other side. This sulcus over here is called the median sulcus. And it separates the medulla oblongata in two halves. The left one and the right one. Then we have a bit more lateral sulcus that separates the cuneate fasciculus from the gracile fasciculus and this sulcus is called the posterior intermediate sulcus. Same on the other side. And at last we have the sulcus over here which is called the posterolateral sulcus. Now if we go further we will see the rhomboid fossa or better called the fourth ventricle. So this place over here is the fourth ventricle. It is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. If we go here and then here inside, we would be able to find the cerebral aqueduct. It's kind of like a tunnel or a canal that connects this fourth ventricle up there in the brain with the other ventricles. And down there, the fourth ventricle here it goes inside and down there it turns into a central canal inside of spinal cord. Now let me explain you the borders of the fourth ventricle. This over here is the tinea cinerea. It is the gray line along the inferior part of the roof of the fourth ventricle. And here we can find the lateral recesses. Then we have the peduncles, the inferior and the superior and then here we have the medullary vellum that creates the roof of the fourth ventricle so we had the roof created by the inferior and superior peduncles and here the medullary vellum superior medullary vellum we also have the choroid tela and the inferior vellum and also we have parts of the cerebellum that create the roof of the fourth ventricle. To learn about that and to learn more about the fourth ventricle please look at all my lessons at, and check out my software at theflashbrainanatomy.com. Now 
I will continue to talk about the Fort Ventricol, the floor of the Fort Ventricol. Here we had the median sulcus, just like we had it before, down there. Then you can find the medullary stria of the Fort Ventricol here. It looks something like this. This over here is the medial eminence. It is the eminence between the sulcus limitans and the median sulcus over here. So this was the sulcus limitans and this is the median sulcus. This part is called the facial colliculi. Uh, the facial colliculus is created by the genu of the facial nerve. Here we have the hypoglossal trigone and here we have the vagal trigone. This part over here is the vestibular area. All these areas got their names because of the nuclei that are inside uh, and underneath the surface of the fourth ventricle. To learn about that, please check out my website flashbrainanatomy.com. Finally, here comes the rest of the illustration with the two inferior colliculi and the two superior colliculi. The inferior ones are important for the auditory uh, functions of the brain and the superior ones, the superior ones are important for the visual function of the brain and for the reflexes. This part over here is called the pineal gland. We will learn about it in next lessons. Here we can find the trochlear nerve and as I said, this is the superior medullary vellum. Now when the illustration is done, it probably looks more clear to you that this is a space over here. This space is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. And that space is called the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle has its borders. Down there it was the tinea cinerea. Then we had the peduncles, the inferior one and the superior one. And then the vellum over here. And there is also the inferior medullary vellum, the choroitella, the fastigium, um, the nodulus of the cerebellum, and they all together form the roof, uh, the parts of the borders of the fourth ventricle. To learn about that, please check out my software and my lessons on flashbrainanatomy.com.